Welcome to the Swing MC. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? Can I get out? <laughs> what are you doing? You're <laughs> too close to the... <laughs> That's the edge. <laughs> Wow. Is this a nice sight, Neil? Yeah, it's beautiful. So this series has been all about Quattro, about the Audi sport heritage, uh, from this to these, the past, the present, the future. And it's quite a collection, Ken. I mean, this isn't the start of Quattro, but it's one of Audi's most successful times using that technology to go race. For me as a rally driver, this is very cool. I'm very happy <laughs> to own this. Uh, but these are the future, and that's why we're here. Yeah. And I think, in a way, these are just as cool as this, but in a, a, a new way. Yeah. I think that's what's so entertaining to me, to be able to go out and drive them and play with them. <laughs> I've been inspired uh, by various marketing campaigns over the years, and Audi had this very cool campaign at one time of climbing things. So they wanted to prove that not only did the Quattro do well racing and getting grip in the snow and sand and things like that, but they wanted to prove how capable it was by climbing things. And I think the original ad, it was uh, the 4000 climbing like a ski slope in Finland. It was the ski jump. Yeah, ski jump. up the ski jump. Yeah, ski jump. And they've done that several other times since. And I think there's even a more recent one with Matthias yeah, Ekstrom. Yeah, Matthias Ekstrom did it in an electric. So I want to go do that, but Utah style and not in the snow, but in the dirt. Because <laughs> short notice, we can't really get permission to go climb the ski slope. <laughs> but I have a very cool location. Have you ever been to Southern Utah? No. All right. Well, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places in the world. It's called Swing Arm City. And there's a couple features there that I'd like to climb. There's one in particular I want to try, which is Knife's Edge, mm -hmm. which is where I've done the big carves. <laughs> We'll get to enjoy Swing Arm City. Let's get in, let's go. Expecting? This is incredible. Welcome to Swing Arm City. It's incredible. It's like a skate park, moonscape. Yeah, you know, I call it a giant skate park for dirt bikes and UTVs. Mm -hmm. That's why we brought this to kind of adventure around and see what sort of climbs we can get into on this. So this will be the first time you've brought an electric vehicle here. Uh, and obviously we've got the e-tron and it's got its two um, powertrains. So obviously it's going to be doing that sort of torque vectoring between traction and torque, depending on how <laughs> steep it is we're going to go. Um, we've got your 19-inch Rotiform signature wheels yep. and the uh, Open Country Toyo All-Terrain 3s. So yep. um, we're the kind Toyo of... The Toyo Tires Open Country <laughs> AT3, <Yeah. laughs> just to get overly specific. And so over there I can see Knife's Edge, which is one of the things that you've tackled. <laughs> Yes, cool. and I'd like to try and drive up that and a few of the other things. Um, this is a test, basically, of what a stock e-tron can do here in Swing Arm City. Uh, so to get warmed up, we'll, we'll, I'll show you around a bit of the area here. Uh, we kind of have different tracks and different things we do all over here. I'll give you a little tour and carve around on some of the things. And then we'll just start climbing, see which of these hills we can climb and see what the degrees are. We also like to try and climb Knife's Edge. Really my ideal thing, I'd love to climb, but it'll, I went over and looked at it, it looks very rough. It's so, rough and it looks really steep and there's not much room for error. I, I, I'm not convinced that's possible. Even though we do have nearly 500 foot-pounds of torque on this thing and 
just over 400 horsepower, I'm... Well, if you want to sit out for that one, I understand. <laughs> oh, no, I'm all in. I'm all in. <laughs> I'll just do a little sample. Oh sample my God. <laughs> why, do you, why do you sound so nervous, Neil? <laughs> what? Jump to. <laughs> Where to first? I'll leave that as a surprise. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> you know how much I love surprises. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? Can I get out? <laughs> what are you doing? Like we got air on the lip of a straight drop. Oh my goodness. But you, I thought we were gonna like test a little bit. See how the traction works. That was testing. Oh. Right, where are we going next? Which one scares you the most? Uh, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't even got to knife's edge yet. Saving the best for last. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're up here again. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Bumps. <laughs> Jump. Ah. <laughs> Second one that will get you. Okay, this is more speed already. Oh my god. Brace, brace! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh my god, we just lost the rear tire. Oh, there's definitely something missing. Something is missing. <laughs> well, Neil, I'm sorry. We can't have charcuterie on our board at the end of the shoot I think now. we can. I think we just come back here, <laughs> set up camp. We proved, though, that the Audi jumps quite well. Yeah. But unfortunately, the uh, tire rack wasn't built for that. In terms of continuity, what's going to happen is you'll know everything that happened from now on because there's no spare tire on the back. Uh, so there's was no it, faking. Was it worth it? Oh, we got air. I wanted to get more air, though. This will be easier now because okay. we don't have that. <laughs> okay, get back in. <laughs> All right, Neil. Straight up. Oh, I don't like it. Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh. I think if we get a little more run up, we could get higher. I don't think we need to go any higher than that. <laughs> we do, Neil. <laughs> too, too close to the. <laughs> That's the edge. 
That's the edge. I want him to stop up at the top, though. <laughs> Do you want to get out and measure? Uh, yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. Can I borrow your phone? <laughs> What did I do with my it's, phone? It says vehicle park too steep. <laughs> <laughs> at, least no they got, at least they got two correct. Just okay. don't close it <laughs> by accident. No, <okay. laughs> oh, this is steep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna wedge myself in the wheel, so don't drive oh over. Oh boy, me. oh boy. Okay. Okay, so somehow. I mean, I'm just going to tumble down here. Don't tumble. Oh. What do you got? 40. 40, yeah. excellent. So we did 40 degrees. So if, that, if this was a ski run, that would be like a black, right? Oh yeah, very black. Double black. Th that, this is how steep it is. Look how wedged, I'm wedged. <laughs> right, there's your phone. Okay. Now, I'm going to shut the door and try and wedge myself in the side. But I'm going to try and get clear of the car because I don't trust you. Yeah, let me know when you're clear. Yeah. yeah. Yell clear. <sighs> Clear. Okay. I mean, we did it. Forty degrees is steeper than the ski jumps and the strifer. And now I've got a, the strifer of getting down from here. <sighs> Just a walk in the park. I'm glad you survived. Oh yeah, barely. <laughs> I'm not sure which is safer, walking down or driving down it's backwards. It's not easy walking down there, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we did it. We beat the, yeah. the old record. That's on, 40 degrees. On, on dirt even. Yeah. Soft dirt. Not a huge run up either? No. Nope. And look how consistent the grade is too. And it was still pulling at the top. I'm actually more impressed than I thought I'd be. I didn't think we'd beat that degree that they had in, the, in those old Audi ads, but I'm impressed. We did lose, you know, nearly 200 pounds worth of weight off the back. <laughs> 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 but still, no, I'm impressed as well. Well done, Ito. Okay, oh, no, back in the car. I still don't get to drive it. I'll let you drive home some. Okay. So we just discovered the boost, which makes me very happy as we're about to launch up <laughs> Knife's Edge and we suddenly have more power. Everything's fine, Neil. Okay, what's the plan here at Knife's Edge? Uh, just a little carve first. Okay. Just to uh. test it out. Uh. Way up here, Neil. Whoa. Way up here. Way up here. <laughs> There's a bump. There's a big bump. This is the bump. <laughs> That's a little harder impact than I was expecting. My head is ringing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Six episodes of having fun with uh, the Etron and Neil. <laughs> was that a good time? Oh, today was incredible. Honestly, uh, it was really scary, but every th single thing we asked of this Etron. It just delivered and it felt safe and smooth and scary. <laughs> I really like doing this series. We got to go to Laguna Seca. We got to go to Swing Arm City. We got to play on an airfield. We should do more of this. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I really apologize to the very nice company that gave us this uh, wheel mount for the back thing. May have abused it a little bit too hard. So, but I think we can still use it as a charcuterie table. Yeah, I you think, think it so? still fulfills look, look, look. one of its primary purposes. Look at that, look at that. <coughs> yes. yes, charcuterie. <laughs> In the frunk. <laughs> Amazing. The frunk on this is not all that big, but perfect for uh, our needs today. 
as the sun sets in the west. So that's tuck in. A little snack on the carnage. Thanks everybody for following along. Thanks, Neil. Thanks to all the production crew. Thank you. That was fun. Thank you. Oh. Good way to end today, Neil. Yeah. <laughs>